and it's time to start making some people rich right here on Millionaire. Our returning contestant has had to overcome personal obstacles just to have the confidence to stand in front of so many people today. I have a feeling it'll all pay off. From Roy, Utah, let's give the warmest welcome to John Bush! Thank you. You are doing so well. What are some of these personal obstacles you had to overcome? Terry, I uh, have something called Tourette syndrome, which is something that I've had since a kid. And anybody that doesn't know what that is, it's a neurological disorder that causes you to have very hard to control motor tics and motor habits. So when I was a kid, it was biting my cheek until it got real sore, opening my mouth until the corners of my mouth would start to rip, just painful things. But it got harder in high school when it actually became a verbal thing and it was a high-pitched squeak that I would have to do every 10 to 20 seconds and you can imagine going through high school being the kid that always is squeaking in class and in sports it's hard because people hard. don't understand it it's hard and so I took medicine for a few years and it just wasn't working and in my freshman year of college it got to about the worst and I just remember one day I, I looked at the medication and I said um, this has defined me for far too long and it's time to take control of my life back mm. and um, I, I attribute everything to a loving God that gave me the strength to learn not to get rid of it, but to cope and to deal with it and, uh, and to be the type of person I want to be. God, you are a winner! Come here. Come here, man. Let me tell you something, man. You know what? That is what it is all about here. That is what this is all about. You have overcome this obstacle that you just told yourself, I'm going to win. You decided to win, John. And I'm, let me tell you something. No matter what happens here on Millionaire, that's what you are. I feel like you a are a winner. Oh, Thank you. What can I say, brother? You've already overcome so much. So here, I'm ready to give you a million dollars. How about that? I would top? like for you to do that. that. That's the icing on the cake right sure there. Look, just to recap, you are still working your way through round one. You bank $25,000. <laughs> are 11 questions away from the million dollars with two lifelines remaining. If at any time in this round you decide to walk away, you leave with half your money. Does that sound good? Sounds wonderful. Man, I am with you, man. You are awesome. You ready to play? Terry, I'm ready. Let's play Millionaire! A little emotional, man. Awesome. Here is your next question. The web addresses ah.com, ah.com, and ah.com, all linked to pages advertising what? Yoga classes, masseuses, Coca-Cola, tongue depressors. <laughs> um, I've never been to a yoga class, but I started teaching in a new high school this year, and I have some boys that are in it. And they have come to my class this first week. They're not saying ah. They're saying ow. <laughs> and, uh, and, and they said that there's some pain in that. Although I know it's supposed to be for relaxation, so let me come back to that one. Uh, masseuses. I have uh, gotten my wife several massages. I know she likes those. Coca-Cola. I seem to remember some commercials with Coca-Cola where the tab is popped and then, ah. Oh, I'm going to say C, Coca-Cola. Final answer. You went for it, you thought it through. John, you got it, my friend! Money's good money, and you still have two more lifelines. Hundred dollars would be a lot of Coca-Cola. Hey, you know what? That's, right. That's a deal. lot of tongue depressors. That's Here we go. No thanks. <laughs> Next question. Oxford recently added to its online dictionary an entry for TLDR, 
a common internet abbreviation meaning what? Too lazy, didn't reply. Too late, didn't realize. Too long, didn't read. Too large, didn't run. I teach high school, Terry. My students know me as not being very technologically savvy. They're laughing at me right now, okay. Terry, I think it's C, but I would like to keep playing. I'm gonna jump this question. Is that your final answer? My final answer. Okay, John has decided to jump the question. I'm gonna show you what the actual answer is. Which one is it? Too long, didn't read. How much money did you jump over? $2,000, okay. $2,000, okay. we'll be right back with more Millionaire with my man John right after this. Play it! Welcome back to Millionaire. I'm here with the overcoming John Bush. He's got $25,100 in his bank. John, we're gonna just keep this thing going. Are you ready to play? I'm ready. Let's play Millionaire! Here's your next question. Increased circulation and overactive oil glands are the physiological reasons why pregnant women are often said to what? Salivate, glow, shout, time travel. <laughs> Terry, I love my wife. She's been pregnant four times. And the tricky thing about this question is, is that she, she goes all the time, not just when she's pregnant. And I don't mean that cornerly. She really is a wonderful, wonderful woman. And so I'm gonna say that pregnant women are often said to glow. Be final answer. My wife has the ability to time travel to every mistake I ever made. <laughs> glow is correct! <laughs> $26,100 in your bank. Four questions to round two. One lifeline remaining. Here's your next question. Where does the College of Cardinals currently convene to elect a new pope? St. Peter's Basilica, Vatican Library, Lateran Palace, Sistine Chapel. Okay. They've had to do this fairly recently in history. Um, it is in Vatican City where they convene to elect a new pope. I believe, and boy, you love to not be wrong when you say something like this. I believe the tradition is, is that there are, there's a fire burnt. And when the fire burns a certain color, they know what the Pope is supposed to be. So St. Peter's Basilica, the Vatican Library, Lateran Palace, Sistine Chapel. I'm leaning towards B, the Vatican Library. It's in the Vatican, electing a new Pope. It's what they do. If those are in the Vatican, I'll be in trouble. Terry, I say let's go for it. B, Vatican Library, final answer. John, I am so sorry. The answer is the Sistine Chapel. Sistine Chapel. Hey, man, I've made a friend today, John. Hey, thank you. Let me tell you something. You are awesome. Much. Awesome. Thank you. The best people I ever know. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you, John. the greatest people ever. From Raleigh, North Carolina, please welcome our next contestant, Patsy King! Hi, Patsy, how are you? Nice to see you. Come on through here. I want to hurry and get
get some money in your bank money, right away. Money. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> All right then. Let's take a look at the money values in round one. There they are from 100 bucks all the way up to $25,000. We have shuffled up the questions. We've shuffled up the money values too. You have all your lifelines. Are you ready to play? I'm ready, let's go. Let's play Millionaire! <laughs> team, here's your first question. Which of these famous annual sporting events generally has the most participants? The Masters Golf Tournament, the New York City Marathon, the Indianapolis 500, the World Bog Snorkeling Championships. I'm going to say B, the New York City Marathon, final answer. And you are right, Patrick! 50,000 runners take part every year. How much money? That's a great That's start. Nice. You're That's on. Smart. Let's go on to the next question. Big money. Here we go. If it's made of acetone, as it often is, which of these household products is capable of eating through a disposable styrofoam cup? Bleach, hairspray, nail polish remover, rubbing alcohol. Acetone is in nail polish remover. Final answer. You ain't playing around, Patsy. I love it. Let's not give you some play money. Make big it real. Money. Big, big. I'm here with the lovely Patsy King, who has a bank of ten thousand one hundred dollars. Yes. Yes. You ready to keep this going? I am. Let's go. Let's play millionaire. Here is your next question. Officially speaking, Herschel Pincus Yurakum Chmoykel Krastovsky is the given name of what Simpsons character? Sideshow Bob, Fat Tony, Blinky, Krusty the Clown. Okay, I may be the only human on the face of this earth who has never watched a single episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> I, so I think this would be a good question. Oh, they look really, really smart. <laughs> Let's ask the audience. Way to butter them up, Patsy. <laughs> you like to ask the audience? Audience, Patsy needs your help. Please grab those keypads and vote now. All right, we have the vote. What does the audience say? 82% of the audience says D, Krusty the Clown. Well, Do you it's... believe this is a Simpsons-style audience? <laughs> well, you know, 82 is pretty good, and I know it's too late to butter them up, but they're also awfully good-looking. So let's <laughs> go with D, final answer. And you are right! Oh! How you do it? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Here we go. Here is your next question. Having a majestic view of it, residents of the Swiss town of Zermatt call what peak the Mountain of Mountains? Mount Blanc, Snowden, Mount Etna, Matterhorn. town of Zermatt, the mountain of mountains. Um, 
I'm going to need my plus one for this. You definitely want to use your plus one? I do. Who did you bring with you today? I brought Alton Watkins, one of the smartest people I know. Oh, that's a good move. Come on down. That's pressure. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure, sir. How, how you doing? Come on down. Can you help me with my taxes after the show? No, no, it's money. I can't help you at all. Sorry. Okay. Swiss Ooh. Town of Vermont, Majestic View, What Peak is Called. Would you like for me to read it from the beginning? No, I okay. think we're real good there. Okay. The Mountain of Mountains. What do you think, Bubba? Matterhorn, I know it's in Switzerland, but I think you also got... Now, Mount Etna, that's Italy. Can't okay. do that one. Snowden, I do not know, but I don't think that's one. The Matterhorn is, to me, is the one that I might, that I would go with if I wasn't risking money, uh, $13,000. But I'm not sure about Mont Blanc. Matterhorn would be my guess, and I'm only looking at 60%. Blanca's French. Yeah, yeah but that's true. Blanca's French. You can use more than one light bulb. I the same know. Well, I think, even though it's early, I think we need to jump the question. Okay. Is that your final answer, to jump the question? Yes, so we're going to jump the question. Okay, Patsy has jumped the question. It is now out of play. Is it Matterhorn? Yes, it is Matterhorn. He is one of the smartest people you yeah. know. How much money? Not much, no. $500! Oh. That's a yeah. good move! We'll be right back with more Millionaire right after this with good people. Here's your question of the day. It's ugly, but it gets you there. Was the 1960s advertising slogan for what unconventional looking car? Chevrolet Camaro, Volkswagen Beetle, Buick Special, Dodge Dart. Stay tuned for the answer. The answer to that question was Volkswagen Beetle. Welcome back to Millionaire. I'm here with the lovely Patsy King. She has $13,100 in her bank. And there's still big, big money big on money. there. You want to get money. it? Big money, yes. All let's right, go. then let's play Millionaire! Here's your next question. Originally a door-to-door -door book salesman who also gave out free perfume samples, David McConnell is now remembered as the founder of what company? Revlon. Avon, Sephora, L'Oreal. I don't feel confident enough to risk it. Well, at $13,100 in your bank, with no lifelines remaining, if you decide to walk, you walk away with $6,550. And you know what? It's a lot more than I had when I came here, and it has been a total pleasure meeting you. So I'm gonna walk away. Is that your final decision? That is my final decision. All right, Patsy King has decided to walk away with $6,550. What do you think is the right answer? I was going to say Avon. Was it Avon? Yes, it was Avon, but that's okay. okay. That's okay. okay. That's our show for the day. We will see you next time on Millionaire. Closed captioning sponsored by 